people welcome again to this episode of Karaja James TV or James Karaja TV if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe comment and share so today's topic is on things that make us feel in business there are very many factors but most of them are in bit they are inside you so natural issues or natural calamities account for only three or one percent why people fail and you find that most of the business 90 percent that get started fail they don't reach the second year so hope you're okay and let's get started so number one thing that make people either not to make money on get rich Number one, you have to understand, if you want to get rich, first of all, you will not get rich in a job. All those people that you can see all over, those people who are counted as rich, they never did it in a job. They did it in a business. Unless you are the top, uh, most person, I'm the most paid, I'm a, you are paid eight figures in any company. The big companies, the big brands, but... Other jobs, they're not going to make you. So number one, you have to get your products and services right. Get your products and services right. You have to know what you're offering. Business is not just getting money. It's just knowing that you need money you need, so that you can offer services. So it's an exchange. And that's where the trade started. You have to trade something for something. It's either you give services or your time or your knowledge like, like now i'm giving you my knowledge so you have to understand you have to get get the right uh products and services number two is customer you have to understand that you need uh, to know your customer who is your customer you need to keep them right in your mind customer always number one customer always number one and you have to know also the market so number two or number three i would say is fear most of us, we have a lot of fear. And this fear is in many categories. You fear you will fail. And when you have fear, you start asking your, yourself questions. What if this happens? What if I fail? What if they don't like me? What if, what if, what if? The other thing uh, the, in fear is about, uh, number four is time. Uh, it said that if you want to make money, you have to move like lightning. When you fail, don't sit for much time there. Just wake up, go. Wake up, go. Wake up, go. Wake up, go. Just wake up and go. So don't take... It say that success needs speed. So make sure you are not spending much of your time wasting time. You can spend time wasting time. So don't, don't waste time. So if you have not failed, then you find that you have ego. Ego, this is why you say, I cannot do that. Oh, I'm so superficial. I can't do that. Uh, I, I, I'm this guy. There is a time. A business is not a straight line. A straight line upward. So there is ups and downs, ups and downs. So you have to know when it fails. Sorrow your pride. Get up. Dust yourself. Get into the business. So when you fail, make sure you wake up and move forward. The other thing, you have to look for a team. You cannot do it alone. You cannot build... A business alone you have to know how to, to to read people's mind and to make sure when you're employing people you're employing people that can give you services and conditions that you need it's not necessary they, they might uh, be experienced it said if you want to get something done give it to a person who is very serious and someone who is very busy it's okay if you want to get something done give it to a, someone who is serious and someone who is busy and you'll get it done the other thing is laziness. Most of people are lazy. They don't work hard. They just want things to come. They sleep till you just you are just there wasting time. You want to all the time chat. You want the time sleep. You want the time to talk. You have to be very very focused. Very focused. Very focused. Go do your research. Everybody who has made a lot of cash is always focused. And most of the time, focus on marketing and product. Marketing and product thinking like a customer so the other thing is blaming others 
I failed because of you. I failed because of my mother. It's my brother. It's 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 it's. No, there's no it's just you because you have the vision, the vision. So stop blaming others. My mom, my ladron, my girlfriend, my neighbor, my mind, my yeah. Stop blaming others. Then the other thing you have to know, you're going to fail. Failure is part of the business. It's part of the success. Business without fail, that's not business. So you have to fail. And make sure you fail fast. When you fail, you wake up. You have to, you'll fail. There's no straight line. You'll fail. Actually, you'll fail. I failed. Not once. Actually, I call myself a, a, a failure. A successful failure because I failed very many times and that's why I'm here today. So, then you have to know that don't do something to please others. So you want to do this to please someone. Don't do this to please someone. I've never done anything to please someone. I do what I do when I want how I do it. So it's not about them. It's about you. The only person you can please is your customer. And because he's giving you the business. He's giving you the deal. So make sure you please the customers only. The other thing is know it all mentality. I talked about that, but most likely it's about uh, faking. You know, you, you want to fake everything, and it's not that. That's not right. You should be able to know when I'm doing this, I'll do this, I'll do this, and let the person you're selling to know you. And experience is not part of the business. It's just thing that you learn when you're doing it. Someone told me you are not going to learn how to swim when you go to a swimming pool and look at the people swimming. So you have to get inside and learn the experience. So the experience comes with the failures. I hope you understand. You never, even if the most talented swimmer, he, has, he didn't get to know how to swim by looking at others swimming. So he went there. He was able to drown to call for help, to be taught. Yeah. So the other thing you have to be coachable, the world is changing. The internet is changing. Technology is changing just like that. It said that the knowledge you have right now, it will be absolute in the next two years. So what you know right now in the next two years, 70% of it, you'll be gone, you'll be useless. Like someone called me to, to, to look at a router. He thought it's a very good uh, gadget, but that router was made in tools. Right now it's useless. So make sure that the knowledge in your mind is able to, to, to be concurrent with the issues. The other thing is uh, don't waste a lot of time reading. It said you have to understand there is knowledge and there is wisdom and there is understanding. You have to understand those three kind of things. Knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Knowledge is comprehension as I talked earlier. So make sure you, 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 you know wisdom. Knowledge and understanding doesn't work without wisdom. Wisdom is knowing when to apply this, when and how, and actually doing it. I was reading somewhere, when a farmer is teaching his fellow farmers on how to plant, plant, to, to, plant how to harvest, how to plow, he tells them the steps to get the final product. So when he's doing the first product, the first uh, step, the final product is not usually very, 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 very in time. So you have to know when it's time, the seasons of business. It's time to plant, so do it. It's time to plow, do it, you know, and learn to go up the stairs. So don't want to have this mentality of having things just like that. You're not going to start. I've never seen a, a farmer who has planted today and harvested tomorrow. There's planting. So don't start business today expecting to make millions of money tomorrow. And I think that's all I have for today. And I think it's going to help, to help you somewhere. Have a good day. Thank you. See you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.